Doctors Without Borders nurse Casey Hickox has defiantly opposed being forcibly quarantined. I am not going to sit around and be bullied by politicians and forced to stay in my home when I am not a risk to the American public. After returning from treating Ebola patients in Sierra Leone last Friday, she was forced to stay in this tent at Newark Liberty Airport in New Jersey, even though she tested negative for Ebola twice. Now at home in Maine, she's facing pushback from state health officials. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has heatedly defended his decision to quarantine Hickox. She needed to be isolated because she was suspected to have Ebola. So no, I had no concerns about it. And by the way, neither did the CDC, who was on the ground in University Hospital monitoring the condition she was in. She had access to the Internet, and we brought her takeout food. Another Doctors Without Border volunteer, Craig Spencer, treated Ebola patients in Guinea. Days after coming back, he walked freely around Manhattan. The organization did not require him to self-quarantine and defends its position with Hickox, saying MSF strongly disagrees with blanket forced quarantine for health care workers returning from Ebola-affected countries. To NBC freelance cameraman Ashoka Mukpo, an Ebola survivor who sat down with CNN's Don Lemon, Hickox and other health care workers have the right to monitor their own situation. And to treat them as if they're a potential problem as opposed to a public asset. I just think it's a shame and I don't think it's the right way to... Act. If Hickox does decide to sue the state of New Jersey for its forced quarantine, Christie says... Get in line. I've been sued lots of times before. Get in line. I'm happy to take it on.